because I don't want to be angry sometimes. Don't you? I know I do. They say anger is bad. Sometimes I don't know. But God tells me it's bad. So I got to deal with it. And then he throws me in verses like this. Man. All right, let's jump in this. Hey, everybody. We're going to do this a little bit different. Um, busy day today, so I'm going to have to take this camera and, and run with it. Um, but we are going to go ahead and get into God's Word real quick. I'm going to give you the verse, and then we're going to get on the road and... And uh, you'll ride around with me and uh, I'll finish this up today. But let's go ahead and jump into God's word. It's uh, Proverbs 10, 12. This is what it says. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers over all wrongs. Amen to that. I'll see you on the road. So, you know, we need to talk for a minute about this whole hatred thing. So it says hatred stirs up conflict. You know, and we talked about anger on Monday. and We know that anger breeds hatred and then hatred stirs conflict. Sound familiar, man, like right now. I mean, we're seeing a ton of angry people out there stirring up a ton of conflict over things that they were angry about to begin with. So we have to be careful with that anger, and there's one way that we can combat anger, and that's love, right? But first we gotta deal with our anger, and how do we do that? First we gotta learn how to forgive, because we don't forgive easy we don't forgive often and that is the problem when we don't forgive it breeds offense and offense brings anger and anger brings hatred and then that's where the conflict comes in and we lose tolerance for people and we forget what tolerance means and tolerance really means that i'm going to look past that because i love you so how do we love anyway that's the big question is and how do we get rid of the offense well we forgive and we forgive because Jesus forgave us first. That's the big thing that we have to learn. So we have to learn how to forgive before we can ever love. How do we do this love thing anyway? Well, we talked about it earlier. It starts with forgiveness. And this love thing is complicated, but it's key to our salvation and our transformation. The Bible says that love covers a multitude of sins, that it covers all wrongdoings. Paul talks about it's not rude. Love is patient and kind and, and it endures all things, hopes all things. Love is an important part of our walk with Jesus and, and our growth in that walk. And it's an important part of us being able to be good followers of Jesus. Jesus says we have to learn to love our enemies and love our neighbors, and we can't do that if we have this heart full of hate. So we have to learn to love. So how do we do that? Well, we do it together. It's hard. I know it's hard for me. It's got to be hard for you sometimes to love the unloving, especially right now. So we do it together. We walk together. We learn together. We grow together. We love together and we laugh together and we hold each other accountable and we learn to love. So today, I hope you get out there and you love a little. That You get out there and you love a little better, that you learn something today, that hatred is only going to breed conflict, contempt, and offense. But love covers a multitude of things. Let's get out there today and let's make a difference. Let me pray for you. Father God, we love you. God, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity to love, to, to love truly unconditionally and to understand what that love means. So God, help us today to understand the forgiveness that Jesus gave us on the cross, that he provided us that gift, and that we should be giving that gift to others, and that we should learn to let go so that we don't let that rock of offense of unforgiveness bind us up in hatred and anger and conflict. We go out today and we truly love others because we were loved first. God, thank you for your son, Jesus. We love you. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, let's get out there today.